Immortality is a common theme in many fairy tales and stories. In Tuck Everlasting, it was as simple as drinking spring water that allowed the characters to live forever. But immortality is not that simple and easy or even possible in humans. There are a lot of factors that come into play as we age that we don't quite understand. Certainly we know more about how we age and there are certain things that we can do to help us live longer, considering the oldest person to ever live lived to be 122 years old. But we still don't have this magic spring water pill that makes us live forever. Researchers are, however, working to continue to prolong the lifespan and make aging a less daunting process by improving health as we age. Weight loss is one consistently successful intervention in reducing mortality risk by 15 to 18 percent in adults with obesity. But what is the magic change that happens with weight loss to reduce our risk of death? Well, we don't really know. Likely it's due to the many benefits of weight loss, like improved heart health, lung function, cognitive function, to name a few. But we don't have evidence of this. What we do have is a good place to start through this index called the Healthy Aging Index. And this index is composed of measures of functioning of various bodily systems, including cardiovascular, lung, kidney, pulmonary, and cognitive systems. Poor system functioning results in a higher index score. And a higher index score is known to be associated with an increased risk of mortality, disability, and cardiovascular disease. So we know that intentional weight loss in adults reduces our mortality risk. And we know that this healthy aging index is associated with mortality. But can the measures in this index give us some indication as to the magic change that happens with weight loss to reduce our risk of death? Well, that's where my thesis comes into play. We're seeking to better understand the mechanisms behind this mortality reduction with intentional weight loss using this healthy aging index. And what we found is that, in fact, mortality uh, risk is reduced with intentional weight loss, as shown by the improvements in this healthy aging index score in older adults with obesity randomized to an intentional weight loss program. Metabolic and lung function improved the most, indicating these systems are likely responsible for this mortality reduction. Now, this information won't give us some magic pill or treatment to make us live forever. Instead, what it can do is help us to create more targeted interventions aimed at reducing mortality risk and to evaluate other mortality reducing interventions so we can continue to prolong the lifespan and continue to improve health as we age. Thanks.